happy Monday. Um, last week was a bit of a write off so I didn't vlog at all. Don't want to discuss it on the internet so And a noisy neighbour. Yeah. So. I'm also going to apologise. <laughs> Were they being noisy? Were they being noisy? Oh no. They're always noisy. They're always noisy. I know. Oh I know. You're such a good boy. Eh? <coughs> I'm also going to apologise for my asthma. I'm really wheezy. Um, I've been taking my inhalers, I've been doing everything right, so I'm not sure. It's not coronavirus, I haven't been outside. <laughs> um, I shouldn't laugh, it's not funny. Anyway, it's not that. It could possibly just be a cold. Um, I know I get really wheezy when I get the cold. Wonderful. Um, yeah, so I suppose there's a lot to catch up with, really. Um... Let me show you my Operation Social Justice Social Justice yarn. I'm gonna prop you on a candle because I haven't attached the thing. So I did two, um, because I just did. So yeah, this is one of them. Uh, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Um, I like these little neony bits. I'm gonna. <coughs> I'm gonna bust out the knitting machine, I think, and do a swatch with it. And crochet a swatch to see how it looks. I'd like to do that with all my yarn eventually, but it's just getting time, isn't it? So yeah, um, they don't have names yet. And then this is the other one. Um, I really enjoyed the one I did for the Tits Out Collective. So I kinda just wanted to not repeat it, but use the same technique but different colours and I really like how it's turned out. I thought it was going to be too, um, I don't know, when it was in the pan it just didn't look right but the pink kind of bled and made it a bit purple and I'm, I'm kind of there for it. So yeah, that's my tits out. Tits out, Jesus. I've been saying that all the time. That's my Operation Social, Social Justice um, skein. So there's going to be two. I'm going to do Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna do pre-orders like I did the tits out because that just worked best for me and I don't think I'm demanded too much. I was quite quick with the um, the dyeing and the posting and I think if everybody knows what to expect from the start then you're kind of on to a winner anyway, so that's cool. Um, yeah, what else, what else? Oh, we went out for a really big walk yesterday. We did like a, it was like an hour and a half. Okay, that's not a massive walk for some people but Considering we've just been doing little jaunts around the park, um, the big walk was, <laughs> we were all a bit knackered yesterday and also was a bit stiff, so we clearly need to work back up to those kind of walks. Um, yeah, and I hadn't been, I hadn't been to the pool last week, so, I mean, it was good for me to get out, but oh my god. Um, my skin's also very sore and I'm just going to pick at it. You can't stop me. <laughs> oh. Right, what else do I want to show you is? There's nothing in here, and here's a mess. There's like stuff to put away, washing to put away, like sheets and stuff, boxes, yarn, who knows. Okay, so, oh, I'll show you what I did on, I don't know what day it is. I don't know what day it is. Saturday. Um, I made a macrame hanger for my spider plant but it's really short <laughs> but it hangs really high but I suppose that's good because they they like jingle down. This is um, one of Steph Little's moments cups but it was a reject because it's a funny shape so um, she sold them as is so it's a plant pot because she uses them as a plant pot and I thought they were cute oh my god buckled leaf there we go and my flamingo my mum got me <laughs> happy happy 
Um, oh, there's a magpie in the garden. He's making a hole in the grass. Make a hole in my grass? Oh, is he getting nest stuff? Please don't go for my snowdrop clump. They're quite beautiful. I mean, they're very destructive, as in terms of other animals, but... They're very beautiful. Anyway, that's not what we're here for, is it? Okay. What else have we been up to? Nothing in the bedroom. Nothing here. Oh yeah, I am... Um... <coughs> I got the cricket machine now, or the cry cut, and made mounts for some of my photos that were on the wall. So you can't really see, but there you go. Me and Mark when we were little, not that little, and my oh, balance. This one. I got these at the, um, what's it called? The Dundee Christmas craft thing. I don't know. Anyway, um, I can't remember who these are by. I'll put it down here. But yeah, this is Clato. And this is the Mills Observatory. So this is where we often walk the dogs. So um, they're just really nice postcards. So yeah. And <clears throat> I did do one for this frame with the dogs. I need to look out the, the duct tape to put that back together. Looking so handsome. I also splashed out on some parcel scales, um, which is cool. So this moves about. Um, it just means that I can see. Look at that. Beautiful. So I am going to put that on the wall, I think. But we'll see. Scales. Um, I was going to make hangers for these, but I'm actually quite liking the spider plants up here, so I don't know. Uh, and lastly, I think, I put some distance on my baby blanket. Hang on. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just about to finish the blues. Yep, so I'm just onto these greens. I've just got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five more stripes to go. What do you think, Oscar? Don't care. So yeah, it's looking good. Um, yeah, so that's kind of been <laughs> my week in a bit. I don't think I've accomplished very much and I have no idea what to do this week I need to sit down and have a think so um, yeah I'm gonna go and do that now have a cup of tea and I will get back to you soon good morning my favorite troublemakers how are you doing it's Tuesday I'm really back struggling in the mornings again um, I did get up at half past 10, half past 10. Uh, yes, but I'm just setting up the studio. Sorry, I'm stretching. Oh, I love that tattoo so much. Um, yeah, I'm just setting up the studio because I am dying for a special collaboration. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can say who? I haven't asked. It's probably okay, but I'm, I'll check with the person first. But I need to come up with three colours that kind of fade into one another that are going to be mini skeins alongside, pardon me, alongside um, a dark grey static. So, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I'm always nervous when I dye stuff. Um, when I dye new stuff. Especially when it's for somebody or something. If it's for me, I'm like, I'll just die over it. It's fine. 
if it's for anybody else, not so good. Anyway, um, yeah, I have Oscar here sleeping. You sleepy boy. You sleepy boy. You got monkey face. Anyway, uh, what did I get up to last night? I did the ginormous amount of ironing that we'd left a pile up. So that's that's my pile there. And then I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can't see. Mark's pile there. That's like double height. I've left the ironing board out so that I can try and get that wax out of that cushion cover. <coughs> Again, asthma's bad. Not sure why. Um, oh, and I went to Hobbycraft and got a big sheet of card and made, before I put the cricket away, made mounts for this bad boy and this one. Although... Uh, the one that I did for this, oh, I got that from Tot, I love it. Um, the first one I did wasn't big enough for the frame. So I had to, it's because the, the, the machine um, couldn't take the 30 centimetres, it had to be like 29 centimetres, which was just enough to not fit. So I, got, I made it cut the middle and then I'm going to hand cut around but yeah i'm chuffed with that it'd be nice to get them back up on the wow um the other ones are up so yeah that's just kind of what what's going down so let's get the kitchen set up shall we yes. <laughs> i'm really stressed about the fact that it, it needs to be a fade or they need to fade into each other and i've never done that before and I'm scared. <laughs> um, sorry. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, yes, I think I have a concept going. We'll see how it turns out. We're just going to jump into it and get going, basically. Wish me luck. So we've got the three. We've got... <laughs> uh, so we've got our three burners going. I might make this black and white. Um, and then we've got the pan. I can show you the dark grey. Not that you can see it. Um, oh yeah, I bought some uh, <laughs> jewellery scales. <laughs> we call these drug dealer scales in Dundee. Just saying. Um, that measure really like small. But it, yeah, it goes to like 0.1 gram. My word for this year is consistency. So um, a lot of my measurements done like a quarter of a tablespoon, but then that's for three skeins. So when you're dying one skein, it's going to be different. So I'm, I'm changing my recipes a little bit for consistency. So that's good. Um, yeah, but I think I'm okay with how these are turning out so far. This is the under layer. We're uh, making some, what are we cooking? Some baguettes. That we're gonna have with cheese. I'm trying to use things that are in the fridge and the freezer and everything. You can't have them frozen. I was gonna try to eat one frozen, weren't you? It's not good frozen. No, you can have a bit when it's not frozen. When they're cooked. When they're cooked, you've got such a pretty face. Oh, and I finished. Excuse me. No, you're in the way. Ah, I finished putting my. I got them all up. Um, I know there's like three empty ones. I've got Arthur and Oscar's footprints, so I think I'm going to put one in here and one in that one. And then I don't know about that one. Um, I mean, it's mostly dogs, right? <laughs> that is my life. Oh, that's really squint. So yeah, dogs and Robbie. Robbie, I love you. Oh yeah. Does anybody else's house look like this consistently? <sighs> right, I'm gonna go do stuff. I'm gonna watch some NCIS. Mark's taken, Mark has taken to watch an elementary. So now he won't let me watch it on my own. I have to wait for him to watch it. Therefore, I had to find something else to watch to keep the brain. Oh, there's the post <coughs> He's gonna be mental. Um, to keep the brain going. Uh, it keeps the voices away, don't judge me. Um, so, it's like junk mail. Um, 
Yeah, how much money do they have? I've been gathering yarn in this basket that I got from Injabaloo Injabaloo in Edinburgh Edinburgh Yarn Festival and it just makes me so happy that it's got the yarn in it but I need this for my camera but it is a happy little basket hello my beautiful friends oh it's gonna get loud hang on um how are you <laughs> what day is it it's Wednesday um had a really good dye day yesterday so I just hope the person I've dyed it for likes it. She says she will but I'm gonna wait a mini skin them up and take pictures and yeah send them to her and see what she thinks. Um, that's exciting. What else? I don't even know. These vlogs are so dull. I'm so sorry. Um, I've really just been working on um, digital stuff, like a lot of blog posts and um, like, I don't know how to explain it, like boosting <laughs> my online presence. I'm so working on social media, like background kind of stuff. Um, it's really nice to have the time to spend on it. It's stuff that I would have never spent time on had I been in the shop because I just didn't. I've got so much more free time to do these kind of things that you need to do. Well, you don't need to do, but like, it's good to do for your business. Does that make sense? That movie doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, so I'm, I am enjoying it. It's just, uh, I don't have really much to show you guys. Um, but I do have a, a new leaf on my plant, look. I know you're all very excited about that. There he is, look. Under here. There's actually loads of new leaves coming out. Let's put you down here. Um, where did I see some new leaves? Are they all look here. This one's like buckling out. <laughs> um, where was the other one? There was some... They maybe all popped out. Anyway. I think that's very exciting. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's kind of all my update just now. I'm really sorry that that's really dull. Um, oh, I'm also gonna skein these up a bit better and get some good photos. I'm making a cup of tea, I'm gonna do that first. Also, on the plant news, um, this these tufts here, when I was with my mum, where were we? Mm, I don't remember where we were. Maybe it was Mint Law Garden Centre. Not important. Um, I got a Chinese lantern um, plant. Not the... Not the... Oh, she's dug the ones up there. Oh, but I've got seeds. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to keep them. Anyway, um, not the like papery lantern ones, but like they're purple and they're... Anyway, I, I'll figure out what they're called and I'll put it down below. But, um, it, <laughs> it was for sale because it was, like, end of season. So I got it and it had one little pathetic flower on it. And then the flower blew away. And then I just left it and the plant kind of died back. But that's it coming back. So I'm wondering if it's going to have more flowers on it. Gardening's really exciting. <laughs> Is that really sad? I'm finding it really exciting. Um, my window boxes, so I still need to figure out what's going to go in the kitchen ones. Um, I feel like I want to grow some food, but I don't know. I don't know what food. I'm not really. A lot of people suggested lettuce when I asked somewhere else, but I want eat a lot of lettuce. Um, I think I want to grow radishes, but I'm not sure if I've missed the cutoff for that. I would love to have a planter full of garlic and ginger, but. That's maybe for when I have a garden. I did try it in the window box, but I don't think they're deep enough. Um, oh, breathy. Yeah, so sorry, I'm rattling on. I'm going to go have my cup of tea and um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Thank you. 
It is evening now. Um, I'm gonna take photos of this mini skeins, at, blah, 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 mini skeins, and my operation to social justice yarn, so that I can have nice photos for the website and also nice photos to send to the person. Um, I've decided to do it in the bedroom because. The TV now in the back room, we've got loads of space here and Mark's taken all his stuff to work, so as in his ornaments and toys. Um, I mean, my mine are over there. <laughs> so yeah, I thought this would maybe be a more comfortable setup than squatting on the floor. So yeah, build up clips for the wing. Wing! Big bulbs. Should just set this up for doing my makeup, but I never do. But yeah. So these. These. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse the TV, but look at this dog. <laughs> He's like, so there's the poofy here, and my knees are here, and he's just like, smushed in. You're such a little smush, I love you. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna just turn the TV off. Okay, I'm, I don't know why you did that. I'm back. Um, I got a cup of tea, and this is an Oscar. Um... <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. Um, I don't even know what I said in the last thing. I was showing you Oscar how cute he was. Um, I'm not feeling it 100%. I should also say that it's Thursday. It's Thursday. Um, I'm not feeling well. I have a sore... Well, it's not a sore throat. I've just got a funny throat. Um, so I don't know. It might have... I, like, I maybe was snoring. Mark said I was really restless during the night. I don't tend to snore but I do tend to talk so I may as well be talking in my sleep. Um, we'll confirm that later. <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just having a pyjamas, duvet, I say sofa, armchair work day. Um, I'm writing my blog post I'm a, which I've just pretty much done. I'm away to edit the photos that I took last night um, to put on the blog and then I'm going to put them on the website um, and then what else am I doing? I mean this is obviously once Oscar decides to move because I can't work with him on my knee. Um, yeah. um, something else I had to do. I don't really remember. I'll figure it out. Um, also, just to document this, because this is quite scary. So, the coronavirus, or COVID-19, um, has been happening for a while. Um, and basically, the planet is shutting down. Uh, tomorrow... In Scotland, they're a way to start cancelling or banning any gathering of more than 500 people. Um, so like music concerts, theatre, various other things. Um, Mark's company was told yesterday to start taking their stuff home. So they've all got laptops and things. Um, 
And so then you start taking that home every night so that maybe the next day they'll be told that actually now you're working from home. So I took his bag in last night, but he was like, oh, I'll just get it tomorrow, it's fine. And then he's just been told today, you work, you guys are working from home as of tomorrow. So his office is closed, so he's going to be working from home. So the flat's going to go from, I mean, it's not a small flat, but small to smaller. Um, but Oscar's going to be happy because he loves having his daddy home. And I'm going to be abandoned. Um, yeah, so that's going to be weird having us both here. But that's fine. I've mostly been working from the living room. So he, and... He, I don't know how to explain it, like, not that he, his work's more important than mine, but he does a, um, he does, he's a quality assurance tester, which basically means he tests software or games, but at the moment it's software, um, to make sure it's working, and if it's not working, he says it's not working, and then the people have to fix it. That's a very broken down version of what he does. Um, so... He's basically on his laptop, he runs about three computer screens. Um, he also has to be on calls with the client and things. So he needs the table set up in the back room with a seat in that because he's on his ass all day. Whereas I can, like, I can sit on the seat and write a blog post and things. I don't know, it's just, he works differently, basically he works differently from me. Um, although I'm sure he could work on the sofa if he wanted to. I just don't think he'd want to. I think he's going to want to keep a rigid thing, so we'll see how it works out. I don't know. I'm just waffling just now. I also want to show you my ring. I got a new ring um, from Bloody Mary Metal, and it's just silver, and I got it to wear on my middle finger. Um, I've really put... Hang on. Sorry, I'm just going to balance the camera on your body. Um... My hands have really trunked up with weight and I'm not sure if my steroid inhaler, I mean a lot of folks say you put weight on when you've got inhaler, uh, when you take steroids, but I'm not sure if the inhaler would be the same. I'm going to check with my nurse actually the next time I see her, but you can, you can see that my wedding ring's all like grooved in. Um, so yeah, this is a Y um, and I got it for my middle finger. See, because it's square, it's really, it's not uncomfortable. It's just you're very aware that it's there. But it also fits on this finger. And I quite like it on this finger. Excuse my dry hands, I have been washing them a lot <laughs> more than normal. And also because I was dying, um, they've gone all cracked. And also because I was piddling about with washing powder yesterday that I probably should have had gloves on for. But it also fits on my thumb and I quite like it on my thumb. But I'm trialing it on this finger just now. Um, I'd quite like to wear my engagement ring on this finger again, but again, because I've gone bulky, um, it doesn't fit. And I don't want to get it resized again, because that'll be the however many times it's been resized. Um, not because I'm fat. Well, no. Okay, quick story. When Mark bought it, the girl didn't didn't do it the size that Mark asked for it to be done. Therefore, it was slightly too tight. So I got it resized, but the metal that it's made of, palladium, or it was made from palladium, um, doesn't resize. It's a very brittle metal, so it snapped where it had been resized. So then I got it fixed after that. It snapped again. So I just stopped wearing it. I wore, I wore a different ring, but I can't remember which ring it was. Uh, anyway, I had a different ring on. And then, um, we were getting married and I wanted my engagement ring for my wedding. So I went to Vanilla Ink and Kate helped me remake my ring, but in sterling silver. And by this time I put a bit more weight on, so it was made obviously to fit my finger. And then when we got married, I realised I picked a ring that doesn't sit with my engagement ring at all. Something that I didn't consider. Um, I just went for a really, pl I mean this is a really plain skinny sterling silver band um i didn't want anything fancy um but yeah it, it doesn't sit with my engagement ring and so i stopped wearing the engagement ring and just wore my wedding ring but i really like my engagement ring <laughs> um, it's an uncut diamond it's in 
I mean, it, the, it's all sterling silver now. Um, yeah. So I'll wear it on this finger. But it doesn't fit. Well, it does kind of fit me, but not very well. It's uncomfortable. So yeah. I'm just waffling until Oscar decides to move. <laughs> I don't think he's going to move anytime soon. Um, yeah, I'll probably cut half this crap out, but I'm going to go and drink tea and watch NCIS and edit photos. And if he's not going to move, I will edit the photos on my iPad because that's easier to have on his head than it is to... You should see how I'm sitting right now. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope you're all keeping safe, um, keeping clean if you can and just being very mindful of where you're going and what you're doing uh it's quite scary like you live through these things and you're just like mad cow disease and stuff and it's just like eh, it didn't really affect me but this is kind of really close to home and as i've been seeing a lot on twitter and stuff it's really just graceful how um things are being made available that were said they couldn't be done before like working from home I mean uh, I know Mark's company is really good like Mark has permission to work from home because of his chronic fatigue they also employ a lot of people like one like um some of his colleagues have chronic fatigue as well and various other things and they work from home when they can um so they're not bad but I know a lot of companies aren't good about that but it's just nuts that something like this it takes something like this for them to be like oh yeah actually that's something that we can do or like video and lectures and anyway it's, it's really a disgrace but I'm very thankful that I'm an introvert and this isn't going to bother me I don't really go anywhere anyway um, apart from I'm taking Hannah to the vet with Cosmo tomorrow um, also this is what my stash has been preparing for um, I'm still oh the Pokemon challenge are you fed up with me talking oh my god 11 minutes the Pokemon challenge um, I'm getting there I'm over 200 I'm over halfway but we've literally got less than 10 days until Animal Crossing so oh I'm scared it's okay I have a spreadsheet and I have a method we're, we're chunking through it um hmm I don't think I'm gonna I'm go, I'm gonna have to not include um the shield legendary Pokemon. I don't think I can get that. Because you can't breed them. So you literally need somebody that um has two games and is, has been like resetting it to get it. Maybe I'll get one. Maybe somebody will trade with me and I can trade it directly back to them. I don't know. We'll see. Um but yeah, I'm gonna shut up now and, and do some work because I have to. Okay, bye. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down. It's Friday. I've been up since half past eight. Um, I took Hannah and Cosmo to the vet because Cosmo had his boosters. Cosmo's Hannah's cat. He doesn't like me because <laughs> apparently you don't treat cats like dogs. This is news to me. Anyway, um, just want to jump in and say, hey, Mark is working from home. So if you can hear a voice in the background, not having an affair it's just my actual husband <laughs> although he's barricaded in the office my voice is still weird um i think my inhaler's masking i'm really worried that i've got this virus um what else i'm basically just um operation social justice in as in um social media and stuff me and joy the knitting goddess she we were discussing it we weren't discussing it she said that well i'd been thinking about offering yarn like a skein of yarn up for not for being skint but like i was trying to think of a reason to give it to somebody that would want it but can't have it and then joy said should we do you want to do well she said I want to do a thing as like for people who can't afford it like um and I was like oh I was kind of thinking about something like that can I jump in on whatever you're doing and she's like yeah so she's basically written all the copy and everything so I'm just sitting putting all the links in on the blog post um putting links in that takes ages like 
I've got to link the picture, link people's names, link yarn, blah blah blah. I actually secretly enjoy it, but since this is my work top, I, I need a mouse. So I've been looking at, m I've been looking at cute mises. I want a cute one, but I think I'm sensible. Excuse my skin, it's sore. Oh, I have an also. Hey, also. Um, yeah. So I'm at that. I'm at that stage on Friday, where there's probably plenty I could be doing, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> Slash, can't be bothered. Slash, I'll do something later. But I thought, since I looked out all this yarn for my Roy G. Bev card, I'll close the door somewhere. I can't listen to us. This is just us time. I'm gonna go through it and see what kind of rainbow I can make and oh look at that face oh, you little doggy he's so tired um he's probably not tired go through this and see what we can come up with and see how much we need blah 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 blah, blah. so this is just gonna be a big time lapse watch me <laughs> Right, so this is what we've got. Red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Not as much purple as I thought. Way more green than I thought. Look at this dog. So yeah, reading, reading the pattern, you just kind of wing it in terms of colour. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bag everything up into colours. And then I'm just going to work through. I'm just going to figure out how big a try. I'm probably going to have enough yarn to make three of these. Which is fine. Um, really paranoid about that bit on my face. Um, yeah, if I just sit like this, nobody can see it, right? Yeah, so I'm going to just do that. And it'll be ready to cast on when I'm ready to cast on. Which will probably be months from now. Once I've caught all the Pokemon. Done the baby stuff. I should really knit a sample with my mouse on. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> um, this might be the last time I speak to you. Tonight is Picard and pizza. I hope you have a happy weekend. I hope you're all keeping safe and clean and away from people. Um, Scotland, did I tell you Scotland has banned any group meetings over 500 people? mental um it's just really bizarre it's just bizarre it's very unreal um yeah so have an awesome weekend thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye